California finally got some good rain this year, and the mountains are nice and green. We've also got some wildflower super blooms. In addition to all of the green and the nice flowers, it hasn't been terribly hot lately. This could be the perfect time for Mia and I to finish a video we started back in September. We need just a couple of shots outside, and it's been really challenging to get those. But at the moment, we're going to do some toy hunting. First stop is Walmart, which is the only place you're going to find Poissandra, and of course they don't have her. I'm also looking for Ninja Steel villains that other people found back in January. No Poissandra. Alright, I guess we'll check Toys R Us, but obviously they're not going to have Poissandra, but there's still other things I need. They have Rita's Castle now. Kind of nice to see more stuff like this for girls. This could be like a dress on me. <laughs> oh, Space Jam! All right, gonna try Toys R Us. We walked over to Toys R Us, and they have that nice big movie display. It's nice to walk in and see Power Rangers, but of course, nothing new. You've got until the 29th to save 50% on the 10-pack figure set. After toy hunting, Mia and I want to do a little location scouting. We just need an empty, mountainy area. does justice to the color. This place was absolutely perfect. The scenery is fantastic. There's nobody here. There are just two outside shots that we need that we can't do on a green screen. We're gonna try to come back and get them here. Filming anything creative outside is nearly impossible. But wish us luck. This is something we can do in literally five minutes. Porter Ranch Walmart, of course nothing. I've also been collecting Rogue One stuff, but nothing new either. This is the first time I've seen Big Giant Rita in a store, so she's in Porter Ranch Walmart if anyone's interested. Nope. And this is the first new turtle figure I've seen in I don't know how long. We went next door to Porter Ranch Toys R Us, and of course, more nothing. Still looking for those. All right, absolutely nothing. Uh, like months ago, people found the other ones, right? White Ranger, not Red Bot. I still haven't figured out if the people on our left actually moved or if they're just having stuff done to their house. There's been construction going on for a couple months now. But with all the trucks, the hammering, the saws, the banging, the everything else, it's been the quietest this house has ever been in the 10 years we've lived here. So I'll take it. Mia and I were all set to go back to the mountains the following day, and Jerry was going to come with us because he was off from work. Got all the stuff together. We've been working on this video, I think, since September of 2016. By now, the thing is probably outdated. I don't even know if anyone's going to care about it anymore, but I really want to make this video. And it's been so hard to do these two shots that we really need. The reason for that is the state of California doesn't want you to film outside because everybody owns every grain of sand, every tree, every mountain, all the ocean. It's all privately owned. The two shots we need involve using the drone because it's, it's a shot where the camera has to fly away and up from me. Where can you fly a drone in California? Pretty much nowhere. So we thought maybe if we went out into the middle of nowhere where there's no people, there's no cars, there's no houses, there's no buildings, there's no anything. You know, we're not flying over a street, we're not endangering people, we're not flying near airplanes, and it's not a very high up shot either. Maybe 20 feet off the ground, if that. It's a really quick shot, we can do it in one take. We thought if we went far enough away from just all of civilization, we'd be okay. So we got all of our stuff together and we went to McDonald's, which is always mobbed and crazy slow. I don't know what happened to this place. Jerry can use this free thing for the last time when it took 30 minutes. I haven't been in here since then, and that's what reminded me. <laughs> it took so long, they gave him a free thing, which was nice. I felt so special because I found this little back route that I thought was like a secret that avoided the freeway, and it was always so clear when Mia and I would go on our own to go toy hunting. 
but early afternoon on a Friday and it was mobbed. Traffic, 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 traffic. But we finally made it, we did some hiking. I really hope we can get some shots here and not get yelled at. And we went back to that area that had the flowers that I thought was so pretty. We were able to get one shot, and then I needed one more shot that I'm in, and we continued hiking. And as we're on our way to the next location, the sheriff finds us. All right. That was the sheriff, no drums. No drums. We tried. <laughs> and she was perfectly nice, but you know, she made sure that we, we went back to the car and put it away. So after that, we knew of another place that was a little bit far away, but we'd actually successfully done Rexy there. So we get to this other park, and it's mobbed. It also says the whole park is under surveillance. We've seen people fly drones here before, and it didn't say no video allowed. But it was crowded, crowded, crowded. I just constantly find myself asking, when do people here go to work? We just drove around some more, trying to figure out where else we might be able to go, but it, there, there just wasn't anywhere. We filmed Cory Uter with this camera, and the sheriff found us over there and put me on our watch list. He took down all my info for my driver's license. I said, are we doing anything that we're not supposed to be doing? She said, no. I said, do you want us to leave? No. Do you want us to stop? You don't have to stop. Can I ask why you needed my ID? I'm putting you on the watch list. And we weren't using a drone for that, just this little tiny camera. If you're doing anything creative, someone's probably gonna find you. And to make it so much more frustrating, you guys see what we deal with every day in our neighborhood and just around California in general, and there's so little that's actually enforced, but you know, if you're doing something creative out in the middle of nowhere, like that, they find you. Like that. And if you go to like different parks in California, they usually have rules posted, and sometimes they do say, no video, no photography. So in that case, obviously don't do it. But if you go somewhere that's totally empty, that's not near anything, and there isn't any rules posted about photography, like really? You can't do it for five minutes if you're just by yourself? If you wanna go hiking in California and do anything other than, hey guys, I'm on a hike in this forest. Here, check it out. I mean, that's, that's pushing it. So anyway, those of you guys that watch a lot of our blogs, you might actually be able to figure out what we were trying to do. I think we're gonna try again in Oregon because I don't know where you go in California to, to do it and not be bothered. You know what? Nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> look at this. It, it'll take me half an hour to get out of my neighborhood. So I'm gonna go a different way. If I want to get to this place before it closes, I have to go the back route. Cutting it close, this place closes at six. Oi! <laughs> You're the box guy. The box guy coming for you. Yeah, I, I saw there was a, a guy with boxes. I didn't see that it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get out of the neighborhood because the traffic, so I'm parked in the neighborhood. Uh huh. And these are heavier than I thought, so I came to do some food shopping. <sighs> but I think I'll be going back to the car first because <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to carry anything else. Yeah, I've made that mistake before. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have made it if I took the street. This is not easy. All right, get something for dinner and cream take two. And like even just parking here, like forget about it. All right, too much computer for me. I just tried to like do a, a search for the cream in my head, like like pressing control F or something. Uh, you ever do that? What? There's a Jerry in here. Where's the cream, Jerry? I need some cream. Why couldn't they put it with the sugar? <laughs> <laughs> this is the aisle I thought I was in. Maybe this is what I want. Maybe it's with the coffee. Oh, creamer? Yeah. Is it with the milk? No, here it is. This is what I want. Jerry needs a fifth cereal to bring the price down. It has to be General Mills. It has to be the one that's closest to one pound. The one that's a little below a pound? No, not the one that's a little above a pound. 
The one in the middle, the middle sized box that's about a pound. What is this dreck? It's about a pound. <laughs> Put that back. Pet food, back I go. Oh, and I got some Nat Megaforce cards, look at that. So after I saw how nice the Korean Megazord was, I caved and I went and got the rest. Upon ordering these, I learned that uh, Japan was gonna release this later on. Oh, I tell ya. I got more stickers. It sounds like Image Anime is going to get the Japanese version. And the Japanese version actually comes with two exclusive batteries, which I think I need. Oh. So I'll have more videos on this thing coming. Here's green with his uh, new head. And here's pink, kind of like that. That's pretty cool. And then I also had found these gorgeous Christmas trolleys on eBay. Somebody's gonna ask me what was in the other box. So it was these and these are a little heavy. It's metal and there's a motor in here. It's in German, because these trains come from Germany. You guys know how I love my Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff, and of course, trolleys. I think Mr. Rogers got me into trolleys. I used to watch that show and drool over that trolley. All right, trolley, to the Christmas hood of make-believe. Beautiful, love that. All right, I'm gonna end here. And I, I do thank everybody for all the really nice comments on the previous video. And of course, I am equally as sorry to hear everyone else that has experienced something similar. It's certainly very upsetting and it's, it's not easy. All right, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos. Not gonna be depressing and 